Assistant Letcher County Attorney Angie Hatton said she was a reluctant candidate for the Democratic nomination for 94th District State Representative. I'm uh, overwhelmed, I'm thrilled, I'm exhausted <laughs> from working so hard, but uh, just so very, very grateful. But now she's poised to face off with Pikeville City Commissioner and former Mayor Frank Justice in the November general election to go to Frankfort to fill the seat of outgoing State Representative Leslie Combs. Hatton ran away with the Letcher County vote, defeating Joel Thornberry handily. She lost in Pike County, but received more than 700 votes, giving her confidence in her chances in the county. Known in Letcher County, Hatton said she's looking forward to letting Pike County get to know her better, and she said she's well aware of the issues facing many in Letcher and Pike counties. We're, we're, we're no different. Letcher County and Pike County, we got the same problems. We're the same kind of people. Most of us are cousins. By the time we uh, sit down and talk, we'll figure out how we're kin. Pike County and Letcher County are not different worlds. And she's ready to go to battle for the 94th District. With all those reasons why I shouldn't have run, I couldn't stop myself from running when it became available because I don't know that anybody else is going to care more than I do. I have two kids and I have watched so many people that I love and care about move away. People are desperate for help. It's the kind of desperation that has led to people coming together who wouldn't normally have talked. People who weren't normally on the same sides of things have come together out of that pure desperation to try to find a way to help ourselves. I think people are disillusioned with the idea that anybody from Washington or Frankfurt is gonna swoop in and save us. We've gotta do it ourselves. Well, I'm good at being an advocate. And I think that's what we need. I think that's what these, the people here are looking for. Reporting in Whitesburg for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.